Hello, my amazing and wonderful and intelligent artists. Welcome back to art class. For this week, we are going to be creating some mask on, mask off, self-portrait. And remember, a self-portrait should look like you. It's a drawing of yourself. For our materials, we will be using a marker, pencil, pencil crayon, and paper. If you have any other materials that you would like to use, that is okay. The first thing we're going to do is fold our paper to create our mask. So the covering for the mask. What you're going to do is count the three lines on your finger and you're going to measure it on your paper and fold it that length. Now this will be the, the cover for your mask. See, I'm measuring it with my finger. We are going to start by drawing a common N, so it's like an upside down U shape, or a lowercase N, or a rainbow line. So you're drawing your rainbow line for the top of the head, then we're doing another one for the bottom of the head. If you cannot draw it freely, you can use a circular container to draw the head. Now we're going to be drawing the eyes. Now a trick that I've learned is to measure the two lines on your finger and that will be one size of your eye. So that will be one eye, bring it to the other end, measure, that will be another eye. Now to draw our eyes, we are using our curve lines, also known as rainbow lines. And we are going to be doing three for each eye. So we are drawing the sclera, which is the white part of the eye, the pupil, which is the black part of the eye, and the iris, which is the colored part. Some of us has blue iris, some have brown, green, and of course we have to add our eyelashes. Now to draw your eyebrows, all you need to do is two rainbow lines come together. If I'm moving too fast, remember you can always hit the pause button and pause the video. Now to draw your mask, you are going to use a curved line or an upside down rainbow line. Now for the ears, we're going to be drawing two reverse C shape. Well, one is right, one is the opposite side. You're gonna open your mask and we're going to finish the eyes. And also, we're going to bring a U shape down because inside we are doing our full face. So to draw the nose, we're gonna do a U shape with two small U shapes on the side. And I'm going to give him a big smile and add T. Remember if I'm moving too fast, please pause the video. I'm adding my hairline or his hairline. Add in the neck, the shoulders, and now I'm going to be adding my pattern on the face, on this mask, and I'm using small polka dots, well, big and small polka dots because for this assignment you can add any design on the mask that you want. Remember to use your lines and shapes and you can color in any color that you want. Now if I were to go and do a female this is how I would have done it. I would follow the steps that I did for the face for the male Bring down my U shape, coming all the way down to meet for the chin or the bottom of the face. Bring down my two lines for the neck, do a curve line for the shirt, bring my shoulders down using diagonal lines, and also I would go and add my eyelashes 
Make sure those lashes are looking fabulous, guys. Add my eyebrows. And remember, if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause the video. For my nose, I'm going to do a small U-shape in the middle and two small U-shapes on the side. If I want a big smile, a big sideways smile, you start with your U-shape or your curve line, bring a big U-shape down to meet the other side, add a U-shape in the middle, and for my tongue, I'm going to use an M, a lowercase M to draw my tongue and add your ears. And I'm going to go ahead and add some curly hair because I have curly hair, right? Yes, I do. And add your edge line. You can do your hair anyhow you'd like. Make it curly, make it straight, it is up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and add a few cornrows in my hair using my straight line. And of course, I am adding a bow to make my hair look extra lovely. So if you want to add anything to your hair, you can go ahead and do so. That is fine. You can add anything to make your artwork look beautiful. On my shirt, I'm going to add a, go ahead and add some curve lines. You can do any design on your shirt. You do not have to design your shirt. It is up to you. But I'm adding some curve lines on my shirt. Then I'm going to go ahead and add those same curve lines to my mask to make it look amazing. <laughs> Now I'm going to grab my marker and I'm going to trace my lines. You do not have to trace your lines. It is up to you. I'm just going to use mine to make my lines a bit brighter.
I'm going to go ahead and color my artwork, my beautiful artwork. So it's going to be very fast. You can pause it to match the colors if you want to use my colors. If not, just go ahead, color your artwork to look as beautiful as you are.